Hey guys, Rebel Bogwobs here, this time with the gear bag video that I said I would be doing. Um, the season is well and truly underway down under. Um, yeah, so the plan is just to go through what's in here, a couple of other bits and pieces, including cleats, plyo bag, um, glove case, and yeah, we'll get to the, the more frequently used gloves towards the end. Um, but yeah, no, not much else to say. Uh, yeah, we'll get straight into it then. So we'll start off with the bag itself. This is a New Balance duffel bag. Um, super, super practical for what I use it for. Holds most of my equipment just in it. Um, lots of pockets, not a catcher, don't need a whole big wheelie bag or anything more fancy like that. Does the job really well. And yeah, that's all I really need it for. Sometimes the zippers do play up a bit, but that is okay. So, getting into the first few pockets we have in this end pocket, start off with some athletic tape, just in case of any injuries, had to tape um, teammates ankles in the past, so handy to have on hand. Um, we've got my Oakley's case, Usually my Oakleys themselves, which are these Oakley prisms. Um, really, really, really good sunglasses. Oakley does a really, really good job with all of their stuff. These are polarized, just a simple blue lens. They do everything I could ask from a pair of baseball sunnies. So really, really good. And yeah, keep the Keep those in the case, keep the case in this end pocket. Next in the end pocket, we have a bit of bubble gum, just for fun, why not? And that's it for that pocket. On the inside, we have a couple more little compartments. I keep a Marucci bat spray in here, along with a rosin bag and some will come out. Some pintar, pintar stick. You get a fair bit of use, especially among teammates, share them around. Don't mind who uses them, so yeah. Good, handy grip devices to have. Um, beyond that, a uh, couple more little accessories. We've got the water bottle. Absolutely love this water bottle. Recommend them to anyone uh, any athlete really, they double as a foam roller. So super strong, titanium I believe. So you can roll yourself out on your own water bottle, don't have to carry a whole separate foam roller if it's too much. Get one of these, water, foam roller, super, super practical. Love this thing. So now we will get into the main stuff and put the bag down for some practicality, but we will start off with my cleats. I am a New Balance fan. I don't know exact model, but these are lovely black, super simple New Balance medals. Um, fit my feet really well, had to relace them, the laces busted, but other than that, I've gotten a couple of seasons out of these now, still going strong, really, really good cleats. No complaints really, except for the laces, but. That's okay, that's inevitable with some shoes. Um, yeah, no, those are the cleats. Love them. Um, while we're on the topic of shoes, we have some very similar New Balance turfs. These ones, just like those, fit the feet really well. No complaints, absolutely love them. Um, nice and grippy, perfect for any Cage work, uh, synthetic mound, bullpens, indoor stuff. Really great shoes. Super, super handy. All right, we will go to my helmet and batting stuff now. So to start off with, I have this Eastern, um, Pretty standard Eastern helmet, just the black with the single C flap. Um, 
gotten plenty of had this for a while now, plenty of seasons of use out of it. Super lovely. Nothing to really say, just a simple black Eastern helmet. No complaints. Favourite helmet I've had though. So yeah, do recommend Eastern for helmets. Good stuff. Next for protective gear we've got I have an Evo Shield, Evo Shield leg guard. Um, again, super simple, great for any shin, fastball, sliders, whatever, but especially for fouling balls off your foot. Top piece here, super good to have if you're taking a lot of cuts. Um, anything fouling off, I've had a few where this has come in handy. So yeah, no, this is really good to have. Um, I have had a Evo Shield elbow guard in the past as well, but that got too small, so I gave it to my brother. Um, batting gloves. These are some pretty basic navy blue Franklins. They are um, super durable. I haven't seen a single blemish in them yet. Really tough, really comfortable, do the job well. No complaints, these are actually probably the best batting gloves I've ever owned. Um, and that's not saying much, but they are very good batting gloves and a popular choice too. So definitely recommend Franklin's. And then a pro hitter, um, I found it super helpful. And a lot of people say this as well. Once you start hitting with a pro hitter, it feels very strange to go back to without it. So staple now, very helpful. Love this little gadget. But uh, yeah, that's the batting stuff. All right, now moving on to the bats. We have my 33 inch sand bat. This is a Rodeo Crusher. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I believe it's the same model that Miguel Cabrera uses. I'll have to check that one. Um, it's Pro Maple Sam 243. So it's a very end loaded model. But yeah, 33 inch, got the black lizard skin on there. Um, super simple, uh, as I said, it's pretty end loaded and I don't have the greatest bat speed in the world as a pitcher. So I, um, I don't tend to use this in game very much, but it's awesome for T work flips, uh, helps increase bat speed. That's for sure. So love this thing. Really good sweet spot on it. Um, yeah, real good bat. Nothing much else to say. Next, this is a loaner from my club, but it is a 33 inch um, Bombat. It's all kinds of faded, beaten up, but I absolutely love it. Much more balanced, much more balanced bat than the sand bat. So this is the one I use in game. Um, started hitting pretty decently with this thing. Uh, nice thin handle with a taper, really whippy. Do enjoy hitting with this thing quite a lot, so. Yeah, no, um, not much else to say. Pretty standard bomb bat. Pretty beaten up, but absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite bats that I've ever swung with in game. So yeah, very nice to have. Thanks to the club for lending it to me. That is it for the main stuff that's in the baseball bag and the bats and stuff. Um, but we do have as every baseball player should. Bunch of rogue baseballs, nothing special, just have on hand to keep gloves in shape and have for throwing whenever you need to. All right, um, after the main part of the baseball bag, we have my pitching slash plyo bag in here. Oh, it's just a Washington Nationals, um, gift bag sort of cooler thing made use of it as a plyo bag because it fits everything handy um in here usually I have my j bands i think my brother has those at the moment um athletic band for shoulder activation forearms super helpful got a bunch of baseballs in here a bunch of baseball variations some different weights um some plyo balls um a lacrosse ball for soft tissue work getting loose, getting blood flow, um, super handy. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this bag. Nothing 
nothing special, just a bunch of different baseball variations um, for pitching drills and activation, etc., warm ups. Um, so, yeah, that's all I'll go into for this bag because really all it is is a bunch of different baseball variations. But yeah, that's the pitching PO bag, as we like to call it. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And then I forgot to mention, this is the only glove I actually keep in my baseball bag. Um, it's the Rollings Heart of the Hide, first basement, it's 12 and a half inch. It's a Pro FM 1.8 BGM, um, super nice glove, really great. Uh, it's turned into a bit of a team glove. It's technically my dad's, but I take care of it and um, a lot of teammates make use of it. Um, got the pink glove locks on there. Yeah, super nice glove. Got a lace pop on the heel, but we'll fix that up and should be good to go. So yeah, this is the only glove I keep in my baseball bag, but if you're gonna keep gloves in a bag, make sure you've got balls in there to make sure they hold the shape. Put them on top of a helmet or something like that to hold them open. You don't want them pancaking in there. So yeah, anyway, that's this first base glove. And um, beyond that, uh, we'll go into the actual game day gloves. Okay, so for the gloves, I have this Lizard Skins Glove Guardian. This is the big two glove glove guardian, but I keep three in here most game days. Um, in here, I keep my outfield gamer, the Rico Custom Star Series, um, 12 and a half inch. I've got the red snake skin on it. One of my favorite gloves, this was the custom. Absolutely love this thing. Um, yeah, give give Rico a, a look if you haven't, if you've never heard of them, small brand, but they do some good gloves. So yeah, um, that's the outfield gamer. Next I have two infield pieces and these are my Wilson A2000EL3 and my Wilson A2017-86. Now these two, uh, I'm not an infielder, so I don't get much use out of these myself, but I bring them one in case I need to play infield and two in case anyone else needs to borrow, which is usually the case. Um, but yeah, I love these two gloves, um, 11 and a half and 11 and three quarters. Um, both lovely gloves, super reliable, um, A2000s, top of the line, of course. So yeah um not much to say about these if you want to see more in depth let me know um i have them up on my glove uh collection videos so yeah that's these two and then we have the pitching gamer which i do not keep in the glove guardian usually i have this one out on the day um this is my Pro 44 Signature Series Custom. This is, uh, it is 11 and three quarter inches, um, maroon and blonde, great glove. Absolutely love it. Um, it was a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. One of the two, a long while back, about two years now. Still in awesome shape. Still my go-to gamer. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Again, more about this on the glove collection video. Go check that one out. Um, yeah, so that is the that is the gloves that I bring to games on a regular basis. This year I've been doing a little home and away thing since I got my um, since I got my my Zet um, pitching glove. And um, because we in Canberra play for clubs, we have our own home fields. And um, this is the glove that I've been using at away games. And then this is the glove I've been using for home, game, home games, just uh, for fun. But yeah, this one's still, still getting there, still getting broken in, but yeah, no, absolutely love it. That's just an honorable mention, really. Not a everyday frequent game, it doesn't come in the gear bag very often, but thought I'd mention it because yes, I have gamed it a few times. 
but yeah so that wraps up the uh 2023 gear bag video um i will keep you updated uh on my instagram uh as to any new pickups youtube videos coming out um i will get some glove reviews done specifics i've had some comments requesting certain gloves so i'll hopefully get onto that pretty soon um yeah other than that uh i enjoyed making this love showing what i got so uh yeah thank you a lot for watching see ya